Hello, juniors. It's time for Film Online. And today, we are going to learn how to sync audio to video with a click of a button. You may recall back when you did your mockumentaries in class, and then you had to edit them in class, and then you had to figure out how to get the audio track to line up with the video track and get rid of the camera audio and have that nice, beautiful, rich sounding audio recorder audio. And you may have noticed, you may have noticed that that was a pain in the butt. And I wanted you to notice that that was a pain in the butt because that is how we used to have to do it. But today, we don't have to do it that way any longer. I'm going to teach you a couple ways that you can automatically sync up your audio to your video and move forward with your editing from there. I am here in Premiere and I have a couple of uh, assets here in my project bin. Just got a couple of clips and then I have an audio recorder clip and then I made a sequence here for me to edit with. So I, I have this audio clip and then I have these two video clips and I want both of these to be synced up with my audio clip. And there's a couple ways that we can do this. The first thing that we can do is if we know that this video clip and this audio clip match, I can highlight them both by holding down the, uh, by holding down the, the control key if you're on a PC. Uh, if you're on a Mac, I think it's command or option. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't use a Mac. <laughs> I mean, who uses a Mac? So I got these two highlighted. This, I know that this audio clip and this video clip go together. I've already checked to make sure that they are the same clip. So I'm gonna right click this because right clicking is the answer to everything in Adobe. And then I'm gonna right click here and what I can do is I can choose merge clips and then this dialogue is gonna come up. Now I can give this a name for whatever I wanna call. So for example, uh, if I wanted to call this, you know, interview one, for example, um, or interview Matt if I'm interviewing Matt or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't, um, I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to call this. I'm just going to call this clip one because this is not an interview. And then what I need to do is I need to choose audio. And then I've selected the waveform here because that's the, my only option. Then I'm going to say, okay. And it's going to think about it for a minute. Thinking, thinking about it thinking about it. This would be a good time to get a Yoohoo. Okay, and now it has merged. So now I have this new merged clip called clip one. And now if I drag this into my timeline, you can see it's all lined up. Cool. Now I can mute this track here because I don't want this. I don't want these. I just want the good stuff here. And now it sounds amazing and nice. Great, wonderful. So that is one way to do it. The nice thing about having a merged clip is that if I select this, wherever I go, it's, it's married to each other. It's all linked, which is great. The downside of this is I've got all of this section over here that's empty and I wanna put this other clip here because I know this other clip's gonna go there, but I can only merge one video clip and one audio clip together at a time. Uh, I can't merge more than one video clip to the same audio clip, which is frustrating because this audio clip goes on for a long time and I've got a couple of clips that fit into here uh, because my camera maybe didn't record as long as my audio recorder. So that's a difficult thing to have to deal with. Okay, so that's what, so I could, I could take my other clip and merge those and do the same thing that I did before. Again, a great time to get a Yoohoo. And then now I have my other merged clip and there's my other merged clip. But again, the problem again is that there's all this extra stuff. I can try cutting off this stuff. I can just cut off this stuff here. There you go. Now I've got a nice married clip there. That's good. And I can do the same thing over here but you'll notice it keeps the first part of the audio all the time. So there's nothing I can, that's, that's not the part that I want. I want this part. So I would have to right click, unlink, delete this, highlight all of this and link it back up again. 
that is one way that you could do it. That is the merging method. There is another method that I'm going to show you now called synchronize. So synchronize uh, works a little bit differently. So I've got my video clips here and my audio clips here. So I'm going to bring in my video clips here. There they are. Here is my clips. Here I am getting excited. Very nice. Okay. But obviously I don't want that ugly sounding camera audio. We don't want that. We want the nice, good audio recorder audio. So I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to put it on the track below. Uh, and now I'm going to synchronize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little space between these two clips because these clips are going to move around a little bit. I'm going to highlight one video clip and one audio clip. This only works if you highlight one video and one audio. You can't, for example, highlight a whole bunch of video and a whole bunch of audio. It only does one at a time, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to highlight my one video clip and my one audio clip. I'm going to right click and say synchronize. I'm going to choose audio. I'm going to say OK. The computer is going to think for a second. Great time to get a Yoohoo. And then it will be done and it will automatically match this up. And now there it is. I can mute this audio. And that sounds nice. And that's my good audio recorder audio. Now I can do the same thing with this clip and the audio track. However, I need to break this part up first because if I sync this to this, there's a good chance that it might get this part out of alignment. It might unsync this part. So I could do the same thing here. But if I do that, now it's moved it over here. So this part is in sync, but this part is no longer in sync. So you have to be smart about how you do this. So what I'll do is I'll cut this here. And now I can easily highlight just this section and synchronize it and say, OK, and let it do its thing. Grab a Yoohoo and boom, there we go. It's in sync again. Now these are not married clips. I could get this out of sync if I moved this by mistake. So I might, if I know this is what I want, I might highlight this and then group it together like so. That way it's stuck together. Or I could um, unlink it and then highlight it and then link it all. And now it's all linked as well, which is nice. Because um, now I can cut this part up and move stuff around. Whereas if I cut this part up, it's still going to be grouped even if I cut it up because I grouped it. That's the difference between link and group. You always want to mute the camera audio when you're done so that you only have the good clean audio. Uh, we don't want the scratch audio. We call this the scratch audio, um, the camera audio, which we don't, which we don't want. There are some other ways to do this. Uh, there are some third party tools that sometimes we use to sync automatically all of our video and all of our audio content together. Um, that is something that we occasionally do here in the film room. Uh, but since we don't have that software on your computers at home, that's going to have to wait until next year when I teach you how to do that. The important thing to remember with this, ladies and gentlemen, and this is critical. This is really important. You want to sync all of your audio and your video before you start editing everything. We talked about this during the mockumentary project. You want to make sure that all of your video and all of your audio is synced up before you start cutting it up into bits and pieces. If you edit before you sync all of that audio to your video, you are going to tear your hair out. You are going to lose your mind. Life will not be good for you. It's just a pain to try to sync individual little clips over and over and over and over and over again. And since Premiere, moves things around when it syncs stuff, it's going to mess up your edit anyway. So make sure before you do all of your editing, make sure the first thing you do is to sync up all of your audio and your video. Mission critical. I'm telling you. And that's pretty much it. That is how you sync your audio with your video. It's much, much, much easier than trying to do it manually. So it's nice to be able to have the software do that part for us. Okay. That concludes how to sync audio with video. Once you've synced all of your audio and your video from all of your interviews, you are ready to begin editing your documentary films. Your rough cut will be due in a week and a half on the 27th. When your rough cut is complete, please export it and upload it to your Google Drive. Share it with the class 
so that everyone can view it and give you feedback so that you can make it better, make it, make it good, go make it awesome. That's all. If you have any questions, email me, let me know. And thus concludes our lesson for today. Good luck. Godspeed.